So I was contacted by Top Quest and asked if I would like to try out one of the DEF CON knives. I said, sure, why not? Little did I know that they'd sent me an entire stack of knives. So let's take a look at them. We'll start out with the smallest one and work our way up. So, all right, here. This is the TD004. This is part of the Hydra series. And as you can see, it is quite a compact little fixed blade. These are all made of D2 tool steel, which, as I've mentioned in other videos, is a very high quality steel and one that I'm quite fond of for you know, workhorse knives and various tools. You know, something that requires a good, tough steel. And uh, this one's got G10 handle scales, they all do. What I found immediately noticeable is that this is pretty much the definition of a secure grip. So you can see it's got a nice deep finger troil here, very ergonomically shaped handle and aggressive jimping here. And this knife just locks right into the hand and um, doesn't go anywhere. So you can see even if I, if I just hold it like this, it just conforms to the hand and when wrapping all the fingers around, putting the thumb on, the jimping here, it's, it feels like this is, it becomes fused to your hand pretty much. This is one of the most, probably the most secure feeling handle that I've tried so far. Um, not necessarily the most comfortable, because this is some quite aggressive texturing here. I could argue that comfort is second to function. It's better to have a really good grip on the knife than it be, to be comfortable. But, you know, if you, if you were to work with this for hours and hours, and you know, comfort is certainly in a consideration. But the good news is it's not, like, I don't notice any immediate hot spots that would give you blisters. Aside from this raised point here, maybe that could cause some trouble after a couple of hours. But overall, I'm very impressed by the ergonomic design here. It's, it just fits the hand very very nicely and it is also one beast of a thick knife if you look at just how thick the stock is that's a lot of metal it's pretty heavy for the size which you know can be a drawback if you want a an edc knife i'm not sure i would call this an edc this is really more of a a tough work knife you know for camping outdoors that sort of thing survival and um designed to take a beating. That's quite obvious. Very nice. That's a good edge. At first, you know, when, when looking at it, seeing how thick it is, you'd think, uh, that might not be the greatest cutter. But of course, you know, it's not just the primary bevel. It's also how finely honed the actual edge is. And uh, on that front, this really delivers. Comes with this Kydex sheath and it snaps into and nice and secure. There's absolutely no rattle, perfect fit. So that's quite nice. And uh, the tack lock style belt attachment, I always like that. All right, going up the size ladder, we've got the TD005. Also, same style of um, Kydex sheath. Uh, the Handle scales on this one are a little different. Also G10, got pretty mild texturing on it. Um, the overall shape is also a little different. Does give you quite a strong grip as well. Uh, not as much as the other one, but still, you know, definitely feels like it's not going to come out of the hand easily. This one is also quite massive, and since you have more blade to work with, batoning might be an option. This one also comes with the same kind of edge. Really good fit and finish on this, as well as all the others. So I'd say this one feels a little more comfortable or at least smoother than the TD004. Um, I think I'd prefer the four between the two of these just because of how much of a grip it gives you. Now this one is not bad, 
but uh, yeah, the four is is really quite nice. The way it it just fuses with your hand. And uh, I forgot to mention the hardness. These are all HRC 59 to 61, so quite hard. In other words, nice and uh, wear resistant. So should have pretty good, good, <laughs> pretty good edge retention. That's what I was trying to say. And yes, an absolutely massive blade. All right, next one is the TD001 SL. And that is very differently shaped. Quite interesting. So it's a much narrower blade. And it's got this... I'm not quite sure how to describe it even. It's not really a tanto. Uh, maybe a very drawn out tanto, sort of. It's got a straight edge here with a sharp corner there. And uh, this isn't. this edge is not straight. In fact, there's... A slight curve on this one as well so yeah this is almost if you if you mixed a tanto and a recurve sounds kind of wrong but maybe sort of so really interesting design now this one is fairly similar in uh, grip texture to the TD005 and it's got a different handle shape on the website it says that it's designed by a law enforcement officer and it's very obviously more of a tactical knife, you know, slash self-defense. It's tapered here at the end of the, the tang. So this could be used for striking as a less lethal alternative. And this you could strike pretty hard with. It tapers quite a lot. And as I said, it's, uh, this one is also fairly thick. So it's, it's got some good heft to it. It's got the pronounced finger troil here, so it lends itself to saber grip, thrusts that way, or hammer grip, of course, comfortable either way. And the shape here, this corner, that lends itself to slashing motions. So yeah, definitely a good design. And this one has got fairly smooth texturing in the center but then it's got these um i don't know it almost looks like flint nap chips so this is really what gives you a lot of traction on the corners there so this one seems very secure in the hand as well which obviously is really essential for a self-defense knife you don't want it to be slippery you don't want it to you don't want to be disarmed easily for a fighting knife of course the sharp edge is very important. Now it seems that this one, yeah, this one is actually not as sharp as the other two, which I find a little ironic. I do notice that it doesn't cut quite as well and it tears the paper more. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely a drawback on this one, I think that any kind of fighting knife, unless it's really for thrusting only, needs to be extremely sharp. Like It should be shaving sharp. Because clothing is not that easy to penetrate with, uh, with a slash. And, um, you know, arguably this would be mainly used for thrusts. But I still think the sharpness is very desirable. If it comes to very close quarters, fighting you may have to employ a slice you know some kind of push cut or, or pull that sort of thing and for that it needs to be very very sharp so this should be definitely sharper than it is but otherwise a really good design also i like the look and uh, this one also has got the same high quality sheath you know locks in very positively again no rattle on this one either and can be drawn quickly and easily. So, seems like a very solid design. All right, now the biggest one. This is the TD-003 SL. And this one is long, as you can see. This is also the one that I've tested. I, I have a thing for 
large knives and you know obviously a guy who likes swords of course appreciates a long blades in general and yeah this one is very hefty and extremely robust it looks like it's also intended uh, as a fighting knife potentially it is it's also in the same category that would be quite a thing to carry but very effective if you had to use it has got a lot of jimping all the way from here down into the handle so it can be used in a variety of ways saber grip lends itself to this hammer grip could work too ice pick grip obviously you can choke up on it here so this would have some use as a tool knife or for you know, survival camping etc with this you could chop you could baton quite easily uh, there's plenty of blade to work with so yeah this is kind of a an all-rounder i would say useful for uh, various tasks out in the bush as a fighting knife as whatever you need really if you can justify the weight and size to to be hauling around essentially and also through it to see how well it would hold up and that worked really nicely no complaints here the handle scales loosened up from that just very slightly you know just certain movements would produce a, a clicking sound uh, and I, then I could tell when I tightened it that the uh, the screws loosened up a little bit from that, which is to be expected. But it's quite easy. You can use a, a torque spit on that to tighten it up. Also nice to see that nothing really happened to it. Uh, there is a tiny bit of wear on the edge here. I'm not even sure if you can see that. Which is really easy to polish out. Uh, no chipping, no nicks, nothing. Also look at how sturdy the point is. That's not going to get damaged easily. Quite thick, substantial. The only thing I'm noticing that I could nitpick a little bit here is that the grind is somewhat off near the tip. You can see, or at least hopefully you can see that. Um, this is quite a bit wider than on the other side. And that makes the tip somewhat irregular no big deal but it is it is there it is a nitpick and i think out of these four knives i prefer this handle here it's very practical uh, nice shape a bit of a curve here pronounced finger troil there and this just feels great in the hand very positive grip but it also feels relatively smooth in the hand it's definitely not abrasive in any way so overall these devcon knives are extremely sturdy just tank knives and well designed functional a uh, good edge and they work <laughs> that's really all i can say so i like them price wise definitely appropriate for the quality you're getting uh, they seem to be somewhere between 40 and 70 dollars depending on which individual knife and which seller and all that which for d2 steel is and and this sort of design is absolutely appropriate in my opinion definitely getting a lot for that so yeah i would recommend them i definitely like them i hope you like the review and thanks for watching have a good one folks links down below of course as usual